What up boys, it's Gaz, and welcome to the Warframe video. So it's currently 1.30 a.m. Just letting you know if I sound tired, that's why. So we're going over the Zocti Prime today, and some things about it that I and how I feel, because you know what? I really wanted to give it a chance, and I did give it a chance. I uh, ran about an hour-long Steel Path mission with it the other day. Uh, I did a couple missions before the Zocti Prime came out with the normal Zocti as a condition overload procker. Uh, and it, it just it just isn't the best. Okay, you know, if they ever nerfed the Kuva Nucor, maybe it would be good-ish. But as it currently stands, this thing, it has a couple good gimmicks going for it, but it's it's just too slow. It's just too slow. Uh, you can get a bunch of procs from it, but it's not worth all the effort. It's even, it's got trash ribbons as well. It's got 0.5 disp on the Zocti Prime. So let's get into it, guys. Um, make sure you sub this YouTube channel. For some reason, uh, people have been saying that my videos are not getting pushed out of people's sub feeds, so uh, I guess hit the notification bell if you do want to see when the videos go up, uh, because, you know, for some reason, YouTube's not push pushing my videos out to people when they're supposed to, so either way, let's get into it. So we got the Zocti Prime here today. It came out with Neja Prime, and uh, it's actually pretty decent with Neja Prime, because you know why? Well, this thing will actually knock you over and stagger you if you fire it too close to yourself, or if you walk into the delayed explosion that these darts create. So... You've got a 8% uh, crit chance pistol here at the 1.8 multiplier, so even though these are these are technically buffed stats compared to the normal Zocti on the crit department, it's still not really crit viable at all. Uh, I did try to crit build. It, it's bad. You, you can use it with Harrow, I guess. I've tried it with Harrow before. You know, it's still a, a pistol. I think the Zymos is better than this for DPS. Um, we've got 5 fire rate, 8 magazine, so a much larger increased magazine size for the Zocti Prime versus the normal Zocti. And we've got 42% uh, status chance, which is a lot higher than the, the normal Zocti as well. We also have an increased reload time. It goes from 0.8 on the normal Zocti to 1 second. So you get those increased crit stats and status chance, I guess, in the magazine size with a uh, longer reload time. Now the impact damage of this thing, when you hit someone with the, uh, the quill, it's going to do impact and puncture it also has guaranteed impact procs on impact does not say that here obviously but i've used the zocti a bunch so i know that kind of stuff and also when the darts will explode so they'll embed and then they'll explode they deal gas damage and of course whatever your modded elemental is in a 3.8 meter radius or range so it actually is a larger aoe than the normal zocti as well so it is a pretty big upgrade now let's turn off invincibility so we can show what we mean about those staggers all right so this is how it works when you fire it you fire a dart, the dart explodes. Um, if you have high, uh, like, special effects on your graphic settings, you will see that a lot more. I play on low settings for increased performance. So, um, yeah, it's like basically an AoE pistol. Now, if we fire it too close, this is what happens. That happen that that will get you killed. That will get you killed right there. Um, and let's see, like, if you since they have delayed explosions, we can fire it. And if we walk over, oh wow, you shouldn't have walked over that. Oh, you wanted to use this thing as a condition overload primer? Well, you shouldn't have done that because now you're CC'd yourself. We're going to die by jumping in here just saying. But you see, you got knocked over, and we're dead. Now, of course, you're not going to jump into that many enemies in a normal mission, but you get what I'm trying to say here. Um, the Kuba Nucor will not do that. This, the Kuba Nucor destroys this thing all day long. So before we get into it, let's quickly just compare the Zocti and the Zocti Prime. Like I said, uh, basically higher stats across the board, but uh, slower reload. That's really all it is. Let's take a look at the build. So um, I'm going to have a couple builds for you. Now, like I said, the Riven stats are trash, so don't even go for a Riven, really. Um, but you are probably going to want to run a Heat Mod on here instead of this Riven, which is... I mean, this is a good Riven, but it has terrible stats on the Prime version. So let's throw on Prime Heated Charge. Um, let's actually put on Normal Heated Charge so we can weight the Heat and the Viral. Because we're going to do Viral and Heat on here for the normal build. This is like basically in between killing and only CO. We have a full CO build right here where we're actually running pathogen rounds to make it so uh, we're proccing the viral pretty consistently. Since we have 117% status chance, uh, we do we do actually want to make sure we're waiting the viral pretty high because we're going to be proccing impact, uh, puncture, and heat too. We only want one heat proc and we want as many viral procs as we can get. Also got to fight with the proc chance for gas as well. So you do need to throw some toxin in here guys to make sure it happens. We've also got fulmination which is a uh, pistol mod for blast radius weapons, and it lets our AOE go from 3.8 to 4.7, which is a nice little bump right there. And another thing that is a really uh, a kick in the the pants for this thing is it cannot run uh, tactical reload or whatever that thing's called, where 
we use on the Kuva Nucor. I'll, I'll show the Kuva Nucor in a little second here. Um, where we can automatically reload when you're swinging your melee. For some reason, it doesn't work on AoE pistols. I, I don't know why. So the best Exodus mods to run on this thing are Lethal Momentum, Steady Hands, because it does have a bit, of, a bit of recoil, and, I mean, whatever else you could think of. It doesn't have an ammo issue, so ammo mutation is not necessary. Um, strafing Slide, I guess. Fry Sights. It's really up to you. If you're using it for an invisible frame for some reason, you could use Suppress. So let's show it as a CO procker right here. We're going to use the dual commas prime with not even a full build, so keep that in mind. Now, some other things this thing does. It actually will set enemies up for finishers, and it will make them have stealth damage multipliers if you use it right. So that is something it does definitely have going for it. And if you're using a frame like um, Neja with his warding halo, there's a finisher from it, um, it will not knock you over when you're when you're close to an enemy. So let's do the, the um, stealth damage here. You will see some yellow damage over time when they're taking stealth damage. As you see right there, those those yellow numbers, those are stealth damage uh, damage over time. It does work in mission as well. It's not just a simulacrum bug. So um, yeah, this might look a little bit better since we are in mission like this, uh, since we are totally paused and not getting knocked over. So let's um, let's go ahead and um, turn invincibility off. We'll kill some of these guys. Just to maybe like get three of them. Uh, let's do gunners actually. And you will see, like, yeah, you can actually, like, do this as Neja, but if you're not using Prime Sure Footed or playing as Neja, it's not as good. So we can just stand here and face tank those those procs from our own weapon that is going to be doing more damage to us than the actual enemies. I mean, it's pretty good in that regard. Let's take a look at how many procs we get here with the CO build, and then we'll hop into a mission after we show some other stuff. All right, so one shot. We're going to get... We got four viral procs, one gas proc, one heat proc, and two impact procs. That's actually pretty okay. Um, so, but that is RNG. You're fighting with a lot of different procs there, and viral is the most important proc for these CO procers. Don't forget that also these these darts have an uh, explosion time. So if you're not gonna get direct hit or like you, what I'm trying to say is like you will fire these off and you will kill the enemies before the dart even goes off a lot of times. So let's just quickly show some of the gameplay. This is Steel Path. I went for like about an hour, a little bit over an hour, um, but here's like just where I recorded. So um, yeah, I'm gonna switch to the Kuva Nucor while we're at it here um, in the background, but just take a look at this. I mean, I'm literally, I pretty much don't even have a CO procker equipped right here because of how slow this thing is comparatively. If I had the Nucor equipped, any, any element of the Nucor, honestly, um, it would be like really, really, it would be a nice damage upgrade. But as you can see right here, um, I, only, I basically have to fire the thing way ahead of time if I want to even get my procs off here. Um, and like it, it's it's a lot more aiming. It's it's not as much status. Like like half a second on target with the Kuva Nucor here. They're going to be fully procced up with with uh, Viral. Don't forget the Kuva Nucor has the hidden status effect of Microwave, which does count for Condition Overload as well. Um, so yeah, this thing is just power creeped. Honestly, it's it's got lots of problems. I've wanted to be good. I do. I have so much nostalgia for the Zakti. I remember doing uh, Vaginoi back in the day with the Zakti and the Glaive Prime on Trinity, and that was like some of the most fun I've ever had. <laughs> yeah, Vaginoi was actually fun because I found the Zakti extremely enjoyable um, back then. Some things you can look for around ribbons with this thing. This thing actually has a bit of recoil, so you could maybe even think about going for a minus recoil ribbon. Um, but then again, you don't really need it. Um, but increased status chance because of the 42% status chance. This thing will get Riven buffs, honestly, because it's not really top tier. If you saw right there, that guy took Stealth uh, Damage Multiplier from the Zakti. That's about 67,000. It might have been more, honestly. Um, so in that regard, it's good. But like then again, you have to like run a frame that's not going to get knocked over. Um, and we're, as you notice right here, we're running Electric Damage. If we are running actual... Um, if we are running like actually, you know, not... Electric damage, we'd probably be getting bigger damage numbers here. And I'm using an Architron with an electric build. So, you know, I mean, it's, it, is it the worst in the game? No, it's definitely not. It's actually, I'd say it's in the higher tiers of um, CO procers in this game. I mean, you're not going to use guns at this level at all. You, I mean, you could, but you're not doing it right if you're using guns at this level, in my opinion. Of course, you can always, if, if you have fun playing the game a certain way, more power to you. But don't try to tell me that I'm wrong when I'm, when I'm suggesting to not use guns on Steel Path level 160, 170, however high these guys are. Also, keep in mind, we are using a, uh, a Saren Cat. I don't remember what they're called. Panzer Volpophila, that's what it is. Um, that's giving us more viral proxy than we normally would have. So, you know, 
I could probably just be running that and not even bother with the new core, or not the new core, the Zocti here, but I wanted to try out the Zocti just to see if it could cut it, um, and you know, it it's mostly the melee doing the work here, to be honest. So let's let's just switch over back over here. We're going to use the Cuba new core um, with Jugular Spines and Saxum Spittle. Like I said in the Cuba new core video the other day, this mod is really good. Um, Saxum Spittle, and I'm trying out Jugular Spines. I might take Jugular Spines back off, to be honest, but you know, it's not hurting anyone by being here. We got 200% status chance here, so every tick of damage will do two status procs guaranteed, and it's a beam weapon, so you get... It's just a lot faster, honestly. So let's um, we don't even we don't even need to use our three. Let's pause them. We're not gonna get staggered. They're all gonna get see uh proc in instantly. Like look at that. That that's ten viral procs right there. That is so much more multiplicative damage than that Zocti we're waiting around for 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 three procs. So um, yeah, I it's just worse, guys. I I'm sorry, like. They're paused, technically, so they'll be taking more damage than they're supposed to. Um, actually, no, they removed that. So, um, yeah, I, I, I hate to say it. I really do. As a fan of the Zocti normal, um, it's it just got power creeped out. Even if you if you nerf the Kuva Nucor, it's not going to make the Zocti Prime look better. It's just going to make... It, it, it's just going to be... It's not the way, right way to do it, is what I'm trying to say. So, um, yeah, I mean, if you need to get it for Mastery Fodder, you do definitely need this for MR30 currently. Dimos Arcana, which will most likely be coming out uh, in the next this next month, is going to make it a lot easier to get MR30. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind. Here's a crit build with not full setup here. We've got 23% uh, crit chance and 3.6 multiplier with these maxed out Prime mods. Now, you're going to need to actually remove the enemy armor entirely to actually see any good damage here, but let's just... Let's just cast Pillage like once or twice. All right, get a good amount of their armor removed. See how this goes. All right, as you can see, I mean, that was like, what? Three or four Pillage procs. Now Pillage removes uh, percent of current armor, not maximum armor. So it's gonna take quite a few procs to get rid of all that stuff. But you get the general idea. Um, not exactly a top tier damage dealer at level 180. And we've removed quite a bit of her armor at that point. Oh, this is a radiation build. Well, still, it, it's not something amazing, guys. Um, the Zymos definitely would destroy that this in, in the damage department. Let's just quickly show that. I've got a ribbon on this too. Viral heat. Um, not even like a DPS build, more of a CO build. All right, we'll, we'll do we'll do the same thing. We'll remove a bit of their armor, just to be fair. This isn't even a crit build. I, I have a crit build for this thing too. Oh, do we have the orange crit cap buff? Well, that's not fair. Well, that's not fair at all. Um, okay, well, either way, the Zymos is better DPS-wise. You can take my word on that one, guys. Um, hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, some other good CO procers, just in case you're wondering. I mean, the Zocti Prime is, honestly, it's viable if you use Prime Sure Footed or this. Um, but the other ones, there's like um, the Cyanex is pretty good. The Pox is still pretty good. The Tysis is good. More for single target. If you throw the, like punch through the Tysis, I guess it can still work. But um, uh, things like that. I, I think, oh, honestly, we're getting the Corpus uh, Liches in the near future. There will probably be some new uh, meta, like, guns and stuff there in the Corpus Lich update. So keep an eye on that as well. Um, I will have a video out on that as soon as I possibly can. I have to, I have, I'm so unlucky. I get a, I have to work the second the dev stream starts today. So this will probably be the video for today. Or I might sneak out another Jure video. Uh, before I go to work, so, you know, keep an eye out, you know, there's other people that do videos on the dev streams a lot of the time, so, but expect mine out tomorrow, okay, um, I will get out as soon as I possibly can, and I will talk to you guys next time, thanks for watching the videos, thanks for, thanks for supporting the channel uh, throughout the years and all that stuff, guys, I really appreciate it, I'll talk to you next time, peace.